Hi, here's a short introduction to the readings for Thursday, October 23rd. Uh, I want to begin by having us look at the uh, a very uh, recent report from this week from NOAA uh, that shares some facts with you about current trends related to the climate. Uh, we'll start by looking at these trends, which in some ways are a bit surprising and also a bit frustrating. Uh, I want you to spend just a few minutes on this report. You don't need to look at it in depth and memorize anything. Take a look at the uh, graphics, uh, get a sense of the headline, and be able to be able to describe uh, for all of us what, what's the take home message? What do, we, what do we take from this short reading? And then in light of that reading and in light of the trends that are described in it, I want you to read about the Keystone Pipeline. Uh, that's the second reading on the list today. Uh, when you read about the pipeline, here's some questions to keep in mind and to consider uh, as you're going through it. First of all, what's at stake here? Who benefits from the pipeline? Uh, what are the benefits? Who benefits? Uh, who gets to use the oil that uh, that will be produced uh, through this process? How many jobs will be created? And over what period will those jobs be created? And how many permanent jobs will be created from this process? The next thing I want you to understand and think about is what are the costs of developing the Keystone Pipeline and who bears those costs. And finally, in the overall issue, and this is why I'm asking you to read this, is I want you to consider if there are ethical and moral issues at stake here or if these are merely political uh, considerations or to what extent are there ethical and moral issues and to what extent are there political issues. Um, there's a couple of optional items too. There's a longer piece. Um, uh, from the New Yorker magazine on the Keystone Pipeline from last October, a, a year ago. And um, there's a, a very interesting little short commercial um, from, a, from an activist, a billionaire activist who's trying to limit the amount of carbon we're putting into the atmosphere. So read those things. Think about them in light of the moral and ethical issues that we're considering in this portion of the class. And we'll talk about it on Thursday. See you then. Bye.